beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here, hoping you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Saying hi to Diddy to all you beautiful, beautiful people. So tonight I will be doing angel card readings. I will also talk, tell you which angels, archangels that you can connect with, which what week you can connect with these angels. And I'm also going to give you a little bit of an exercise before I do the card readings, okay? So we got a lot of people on chat here. Fantastic. People were guessing what I was wearing. So I'm wearing pink. I have a little bit of blue somewhere around here right there. <laughs> I also have my crystal that I'm wearing is selenite, but it's got Archangel Michael in there with um, a blue stone in the middle. Okay, selenite. And then I also have my blue crown whenever I do my card reading. So thank you. Hi, Holly from Montana. My friend Hanna just got back from Montana doing um, skiing there. So so fantastic fantastic kelly was saying wearing pink with fluoride or turquoise well this is selenite but there's a blue there's a blue so good guesses i love pink <laughs> patty says <laughs> thank you sylvia thank you so hello beautiful people i couldn't you know say hi to diddy to everybody on here someone from new jersey yay so carrie hart thank you and roxanne aloha from hawaii so we got a lot of beautiful people here um, Mary John, Justice Warrior. I mean, too many for me to repeat all the things. So um, I was really busy this week, even though I wasn't doing readings this week. I'm trying to catch up with all my work with the ghost hunting, with the thing with Hana, doing our retreat, um, and then, you know, making up the shows. And it's like, yeah, been a lot. It's been a lot. Plus other personal things going on in my life. So bear with me on... <laughs> If I sound a little, ah, that's probably why. Okay. So um, I want to tell you some of the things that came true. But before I say that, I, uh, this Friday, me and, and Hannah Banana, Alejandra, and me are going to probably do a live at five o'clock. We're going to talk about the new moon. So like how we had our other video last Tuesday, it will probably be like that on Friday. So if you want to connect or make sure you subscribe or ring that bell so that it, it tells you, yep, they're live. So we're going to do it around five o'clock this Friday about the new moon. Okay. And um, maybe I'll do little, we'll do some card readings or whatever. We'll see what spirit has to say on that. Okay. Um, also, what was up? So the people, um, I want you to follow me. God, I'm all over the place. Do I have any stones in my room? <laughs> um, you can connect with me on TikTok. I've been doing a lot of TikTok. Me and Diane, the one that goes hunting grandmas, we are going to be putting up another video. Um, it will be called the LaDuke. So please go to the Ghost Hunting Grandmas site on the YouTube. It's just like our TikTok here, Ghost Hunting Grandmas. Go on there and just click on all the videos or watch a couple of them. The last one with the Anderson House, I thought was really, really cool. Really, really cool. So um, this LaDuc one also is really cool. So we're doing, we're trying to combine history and ghost hunting paranormal and messages for the world. So we're combining, creating this uh, new dynamic on our show. So please check it out. I will tell you when it is. I have the Ghost Hunting Grandmas either on my YouTube channel here or I would like it better if you went to the Ghost Hunting Grandma, subscribe and watch our videos there so we can get that going. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Um, someone says, unfortunately, I have a meeting Friday night. Well, you can watch the reruns. Go back on my YouTube after Friday night and click live and it will be on there. <clears throat> okay, so um, um, also, what, what else was I going to say? And uh, I just went blank. <laughs> Squirrel, let's bring the squirrel out. Uh, the people that are going on the retreat, we're going to be sending you a list. Uh, Hannah just gave you a message, so please check your emails for what's coming up because it's coming before you know it. I can't believe that it's just in what a couple weeks, three weeks or so that we're going to be in Sedona. So, okay, let's talk about the things. Let's talk about things. Um, <laughs> okay, so. Things that came true. Unfortunately, look at the large fire that happened in Texas. They say it made history. It made history, okay? 
Um, also, the weather. Remember, I was talking about that the, the like the Midwest or whatever the northern part of the states and the southern states we kind of re reverse in that they would have really warm weather and that the lower states would have cooler weather like us in California and all the rain. Well, there we they were breaking records in the Midwest, breaking world records because of the heat. Okay. Um, um, this is a sad thing that I just heard about Jay Shetty. He's the one that says is a monk and he's, I don't know if he's from the Middle East, India or whatever, and he has really pretty eyes and he says he was a monk or whatever. He wasn't a monk, people. And they're getting him for pyramid scheme, unfortunately. So they're, they're finding out all his history that he said he did this, this, and this, and this. It's coming out. It's false. And they're also going after him because he created a pyramid scheme where it's like, you know, people going on top of each other people. So sad to say, because he had some beautiful words. I'm sure he'll probably try to recoup all that and whatever is going on. So sorry about that. Okay. Lori says we had record heat in Missouri. Yeah. See the Midwest. It was crazy. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for that, Lori. All right, um, also 2,000 protester, 200,000, not 2,000, 200,000 protesters in Germany. Again, with the, the farm, the taxes, the, the, the people are, are saying, well, we're not putting up with it anymore. So 200,000 protesters in Germany. Uh, I was talking about that. I was saying that there was going to be layoffs. Macy's is closing 150 stores doing major layoffs, Okay. Um, also, unfortunately, there was 500 rhinos that got killed. And unfortunately, it's, it's even in the parks. So they're trying to create a new dynamic on this and trying to protect the, the rhinos and the elephants. So that's good news bringing that in because of all these 500 rhinos getting killed. They are, you know, creating this new dynamic where they can help save them. So... Yes, we're, we're doing that. Okay. Also, um, Russia warns, warns of, had warnings of direct conflict with NATO. Remember I was telling you that they're mad about Sweden and is it Finland? And I forgot what the other country is. Is that wanting to get into NATO? And um, Russian did warnings towards them. And I, I told you that last week. I said, I, I'm seeing some conflicts there. There was severe thunderstorms in Ohio and Michigan. There was tornadoes there. Remember I was saying, and I did that for the, the beginning uh, prediction, the year prediction. So there was severe thunderstorms and tornadoes in Ohio and in Michigan area. There was 90 inches of snow in the Sierra, not all over the Sierra, but remember I was saying last week, I even said in the beginning of the year that I saw the massive snow again for this year. So Sierra had 90 inches in some areas, 50 to 90 inches of snow, and it's still going to snow more. I-80 was closed down. A thousand people were were trapped. A thousand people. There was major accidents on I-80 there. So send pra um, prayers to those people. Um, also, more is coming. It's coming this Wednesday. Maybe not as much, but it's it's coming. Okay. <clears throat> Also, there was a tornado in California and in Illinois. California, we had two tornadoes, and that's not that common here. So it was in the, in the uh, mid part of the state. Also, uh, Australia, unfortunately, is having massive fires, which I've said before in the beginning, um, year prediction. Remember, I kept on talking about the nuclear plant in Japan. They're, they're having worries there because of the earthquakes, because of the rain, because of the waves, because of all this stuff. So they're worried about it. They looked at the plant. They put a, um, um, I just went blank. Let me think of it again. Drones. They put some drones in there where they couldn't see and they're worried about it. So unfortunately, remember I was talking about this months ago, they're pouring toxin waste into the ocean. So that's I'm not happy about that. Um, there was major flight delays, especially in the Northwest because of the storms. Hannah didn't know if she was going to come home or not because she was in Montana skiing. She's like, I don't know if I'm going to come home at the right time. Um, so there was the flight delays there. There was massive snow, snowstorms up in the Northwest also. 
people that um, I have, you know, of course I have friends and family up in, in uh, Montana. They were saying it was snowing there, the Northwest uh, Washington, all that stuff too. So yeah. <clears throat> so um, also um, trail derailments. There was three trail derailments. Remember I was talking about that. One of the accidents was a train hit another train and then another train came in. So there was three train, you know, two hit each other and then another train came in and hit that. So there's that trail derailments. And then there was another trail derailment over on the other side in another state. Someone um, gave me that information. Um, Galapagos had a volcano eruption. Remember, I was saying I'm seeing it around the ocean, island or whatever. So they had an eruption. New Zealand had three earthquakes. One was like on the second, the third, and the, and the, and the, it was like the second and the third. I think the third, they had two earthquakes on the same day. And people are going to go, well, that's just aftershocks. Well, there was like 6.4 and 6.5 and da, da, da. I mean, they were higher numbers. Again, off of the North um, Island, out into the ocean, like I predicted. And I still see some more coming for New Zealand. So be careful on that. Japan had an earthquake and Fiji, like I was saying about that. Unfortunately, there's a documentary that's going to be exposing. Remember, I was telling you that this is the truth here. The lot of truth is going to be shown. So not only the not only the um, Jay Shetty, truth is being shown. P Diddy, truth is being shown. There's going to be a documentary exposing Nickelodeon with the kids in, like in the 90s, where a lot of things weren't very good to them. And um, remember Amanda Bynes, I think she's part of it. I feel like um, Britney Spears is part of it. Some of the guys are part of it. So there's a documentary coming out on that. Warner Brothers also laid off 200 people. A lot more of my predictions came true, but uh, we don't need to hear about any more bad news, right? So unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, let me give you, they want me to want me to read off because today's March 5th. They want me to write, read from the angel book, uh, the number five. They say growth. The only thing that stays the same is change. As the world around you shifts and moves, it's time to get flexible. Change is inevitable and your peace comes not from stable, stability of things outside you, but also from that which is created from your foundation within. Your angels remind you to make inner peace a priority so that when change comes, you know that you are tethered to something it cannot touch. Meditate towards today with a visualization of your inner peace tying your, you firmly to the universe. So picture that you're tied to the angels or tied to your soul or tied to your, because it's the body of you that doesn't like the change. It's not the spirit of you that doesn't like the change. Spirit of you already knows it's happening and that it's coming, right? It's the body of you, the fear, worry, and doubt that is that doesn't like the change. And I get it because I just complained about Facebook today. I don't know if you guys have Facebook and Instagram and a bunch of things were shut down for like a couple hours. And it's because they were doing changes again on Facebook and Instagram. And it's like we get back on Facebook and it's like, oh, my God, just leave it alone. Do you know what I mean? We have enough changes around in our world. And I was, I was you know, mm -mm -mm today about it. So it's like... But change is inevitable. So let's be in the space of our soul. We know what direction we're going. We have to, we have to um, allow the change to happen to get into betterness, right? <clears throat> so someone said, cool background. If you're on the podcast, you're not going to see this, but I wanted to make it look like I had angel wings coming up because <laughs> it's really, it's an angel. See, spirit, it's an angel spirit. <laughs> so I love it. Um, okay. So let me talk about, let's talk about angels. Let's talk about that, okay? So the angels that I want you, you might want to uh, get a piece of paper to write this down so that you remember it because I'm going to give you words for an exercise to bring love and health and, and uh, abundance to yourself. But I'm also going to give you archangels that you can connect to and what week you should connect with these angels. That's up to you if you want to connect with them or not. You don't have to do any of this. But I thought it was kind of cool. So you could either um, write a letter to these angels or uh, or talk, call on, upon them every morning during this week. And I'll, like I said, I'll give you some of the exercises uh, that's connected to this. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> All right. So the first one is call on Archangel Hey I L. Hey I L. You spell it H A I A I E L. Hey I L. For protection, help with conflicts, fights, gives us bravery, courage, and gives guidance with a mission. You call on Hey I L March 11th through March 15th. So the week of March 11th through the 15th. Call on Hey I L if you need. If you say you're not talking to your child or your child's not talking to you or a friend's not talking to you or an ex not talking to you or um, you need to connect with a lawyer or you need to connect with a bank or something, you got to connect with somebody or you're needing some kind of protection, Hey IL will help you with the conflicts, will help you with the fight, okay? It will help you with guidance also for a mission. So if you've got this um, and super duper intention that you're desiring to happen call on hey i l march 11th through the 15th okay <clears throat> okay so um the next angel that i want you to talk to is mo me ya mo me ya <laughs> isn't that cute mo me ya i'm mowing me and i'm ya no i don't know <laughs> mo me ya so how you spell it m u m i a h Okay, you would call on Mo Mi Ah at uh, March 16th through the 20th for success. Okay, he helps with completing a session and then helping you start a new. Okay, so that could be a new workout, it could be a new job, it could be a new health regimen, it could be you want new love, you want to get pregnant, you want to start a new spiritual um, thing, you want to start. A, a physical thing. So Mo Mia is going to help you with success, bring success to you, but also help other people. Uh, I mean, other um, areas like love, health, wealth, prosperity, to start the beginning of that, okay, to help you with your um, going forward. So I don't know if Dreaming Nine is talking to me. It says, I really wish you'd get a chance to have your own show on TV. So I believe you'd be able to help find so many mi missing people, especially children. God can do anything. Yes. Thank you, Dream Nine. Thank you. I do too. I do too. <laughs> okay. So the next archangel that I want you to connect to is vehicle. Yes. It sounds like a vehicle. Um, vehicle. Vehicle or maybe via hole or whatever. Okay, so if I'm saying it wrong, sorry. Uh, March 21st to the 25th, via hole, V-E-H-U-I-A-L, so it sounds kind of like vehicle, uh, for new beginnings, fresh starts, helps us with our purpose, path, and also brings in the support when asked. It will bring divine will to us. So it's like, uh, I don't know if I, I'm in the mood to start this. I know I need to start this. I know I need to you know, write up this thing, do this program, whatever it is, or you're trying to find your purpose or you're trying to find which direction you should go in. And I'm sweating like crazy. I'm sorry. Um, so call on V E H U I A L V Hill V U Hall vehicle. It sounds like vehicle. Okay. So the next, um, archangel that I want you to connect to it for March 26th to the 30th is Jabelle. Jabelle. It's kind of like French. Jabelle. <laughs> so Jabelle is to enhance love and wisdom, helps bring love to us and brings what we love to do and purpose, but can do, but we can do for a living. We could get paid for it. Okay. So a lot of us, we need to feel worthy that we can, we can have a, um, um, create a, a living off of doing what we love. Like me, I love doing readings. I love finding missing people. I love ghost hunting. I love doing this kind of stuff, helping people in the world. And I do a lot of things for free. Believe me, I do a lot. Well, just like this, Tuesday nights. I do a lot of things for free for people because it gives me joy, but I'm also need to live. So then we do the other part too, right? So Jabel, Jabel, is um, J-E-B-I-E-L, Jebel, is to enhance that love and to enhance that wisdom, to help bring that love to us, bring what we love to do, our purpose to us. Very, You're going to have a major connection. I'm not saying you can't do it any other time. That's not what I'm saying, that you can't. You can connect to all these archangels tonight. doesn't matter. But March 26th to March 30th, it's going to be more powerful. Okay? Um, 
it, it's going to be more powerful for you. So like I, that's why I'm wearing my Archangel Michael thing. Connect, connect, connect. Okay. So here's an exercise. Again, if you want to bring a piece of paper for you, because um, or just keep on going through the video to, to hear the words. So the exercises are, you do not have to have this. But if you want to, you could write this down or you can say it. You, if you're wanting to use a candle to connect with this, then use a green or red candle to open the heart chakra or even white. So this exercise is for love, spiritual love, okay? You want a love partner. You want to bring love into your life. You want to send love to somebody. You want to give love um, um, to your grandchildren or to the world or whatever. Okay, so this is a really powerful uh, um, exercise. Okay, so this one is a spiritual exercise for love. You take three deep breaths and you would close your eyes and you can have a quartz crystal. Quartz crystal? <laughs> I can't even talk. A quartz crystal, if you want, it doesn't have to be any kind of stone. It can be this kind of crystal if you want. Or you can have a rose quartz. Or you could do, um, what was the other crystal that they said that we could do? So you could do malachite. You could do moldavite. Whatever it is that connects to the heart for you. Okay? Um, so take three deep breaths. You could take like this rose quartz. Place it, put, put it in your hand. Place it like, a, like this on your heart chakra. And then you would kind of take a deep breath and tune into your heart chakra, okay? Attune to it and allow it to open up, okay? And then you would say, I, like I would say, I, Debbie, is safe and worthy to receive love now and forever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, or amen, 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 or so be it, so be it, so be it. It's that simple. I, De Debbie, you got to make sure you say those two words, safe and worthy to receive love divine love or a partner of love or my grandchildren's of love or my work love or my health love whatever love you're talking about is safe and worthy to receive love now and forever i want you to say it for three times three times and three times a day so you would say it in the morning three times and then you could say it at lunch three times and then before you go to bed three times through march 26th through march 30th because you're going to be connecting so when you're connect you would be connecting to Jabel the angel Jabel at that time so because Jabel is talking about love so you could even call on Jabel 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 please bring divine love to me that I Debbie is safe and worthy to receive love thank you thank you thank you and then you would say that three times through the 26th and the 30th you're going to see love you're going to see love do not control how the love is going to come to you but if you're like starting to date or you're, um, um, if you're wanting some kind of love at work or love at health or whatever, you're going to know if you do this through the 26th and the 30th and call on Jabel and do this exercise, you will notice love. And it might come to you in a different way. Maybe you get a puppy. Maybe you get a new grandchild. Maybe you get a new friend. Maybe you get a new lover. You just don't know, right? So, um, and allow it, allow it, allow it. Thank you guys for all these beautiful compliments that you guys are giving me. I love that. Thank you for that. Uh, um, Esther is saying, we appreciate all you do. Thank you. Um, Jody says, Debbie, I wish you could upload multiple times a day. I can't get enough. Thank you. Just things like that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. The next exercise is for health. Okay. And so the candle that you would want to use for is green, pink, or white if you want to do a candle light it put it on there write this down and say it out loud or just say it out loud you don't need the candle da, 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 da. but it all helps because I want you to feel it's almost like I want you to have all five senses going on okay I want you to feel it I want you to sense it I want you to hear it I want you to almost taste the beautiful love or the health coming to you okay so um, um, be in that space, okay? So I'm gonna help you with that. Okay, so the exercise for health, the candles that you could use if you want to is green, pink, or white, or just a, just a normal candle, whatever you wanna do, okay? Get a green stone for health. Um, I, I'm using malachite, okay? Here's the little frog that um, my granddaughter gave me, Rocky gave me a while ago. Looking that cute, cute malachite frog. 
Mm, cute. So um, you can take a malachite and or a rose quartz if you want, or even both together. Again, taking three deep breaths, closing your eyes, putting your hand over your heart chakra, and say three times, three times a day, okay? Through March 11th through the 15th. Can you do it now? Yes. I'm just saying you, telling you it's going to be more powerful through March 11th through the 15th. And March 11th through the 15th, we would talk to Hey I L, Hey I L. And it's H A I A I E L, that archangel, if you want to connect with her. Okay, so you would put the crystal on your heart. You would say three times and three times a day from March 11th through the 15th if you want. I, Debbie, is happy, healthy, whole, and complete. I, Debbie, is happy, healthy, whole, and complete. So you would say, I, Kathy, the one with the heart things. I, Kathy, is happy, healthy, whole, and complete. See you already healthy. See you already, everything is, is complete. That you, you don't see any negative. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like seeing yourself healthy, happy, whole, and complete. Happy, healthy, whole, and complete. And say that three times. And then do it for three three times a day through March 11th through the 15th. Okay? Cute, cute. <laughs> okay, so then the next um, exercise is for success. Okay? And uh, let me see. I'm trying to find out information here. Oh, so the archangel that you would work with for success is Mo Mi Ya. Mo Mi Ya, okay? M U M I A H, okay? So March 16th through the 20th, okay? Mo Mi Ya, all right? So this exercise is for success. You could do citrine, you could do tiger eye, you could do carnelian, whatever ones resonate with you, or you could do all three. Okay, the candle, if you're wanting to do a candle for success or abundance of money, it would be green, orange, my favorite color, orange, or um, white candle, okay? So you could light the candle, you could write this, or you could just say it, okay? So for success, you would, I would have you focus more down by your root chakra or by your belly or by your solar plex right above, that's where your power is, okay? Um, and if you're going to do love and um, health beforehand, then maybe having that, that rose quartz chakra in your heart chakra too, okay? So you, would, you can use red jasper. You could do whatever root chakra crystal that you resonate with, all right? So you would say, I, Debbie, is safe and worthy to receive large sums of financial abundance now and forever. If you're wanting success, you would say, I, whatever your name is, is safe and worthy to receive great success in my job or great success in my business or great success in my love life or great success in my you know, home life or whatever it is that you're wanting the success or the abundance. Or if you're wanting the abundance of like a new baby, you would say, I, Debbie, is safe and worthy to receive a healthy, happy, joyful baby now and forever. Do you know what I'm saying? And then you would say, so be it, so be it. I would call on the Archangel um, Mi Mo Ya and, and that would help you with the fertility or that would help you with the abundance. So the time for that is March 16th through the 20th, okay? So you got a bunch of angels that I'm giving you, Archangels for the whole month of March. I think this is kind of cool. So I might even do this more often. Oh, thank you. Bad Hair Day gave me $13.99. She goes, thank you for all you share. Thank you, Bad Hair Day. So bad hair day. She always, I appreciate you. You're always giving. If you can't give a donation, please like, share, comment. Please, even if it's just little butterflies at the comment section, I would truly, truly, truly uh, uh, believe, um, appreciate that, okay? Also, Spirit is saying, be in joy. Be in joy. Do this in joy. Don't do these exercises if you're wanting to do Oh, I should do this because I want to, it's not going to come to you that way. You got to be in joy. Remember, joy is the highest vibration. So be in joy. 
dance around a little bit and have fun and picture the home or the car or the job or the lover or the health that you want and be in joy with it and then go, I, Debbie, is safe and worthy to receive great financial abundance to me now and forever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be really happy. Then the universe is going to be thankful for your gratitude, but also thank you for your vibration that you're putting out into the world, right? So... Thank you, thank you, thank you on that, all right? If you're wanting even more success, you could even, uh, the crystals that you're having, like on your root chakra, or you could do it with the health, you could do it with the love too, put a little bit of cinnamon on it. Cinnamon, min, min, min. I don't know how to say cinnamon, min, min. <laughs> cinnamon, put a little bit of cinnamon on there, you know? And then, and then that will make it even bigger. Or you could even take the crystals and put a piece of selenite with it, and that could even be 10 times stronger, okay? <clears throat> so Gigi says, yes, thank you, Debbie, for all the guidance. I did the bay leaf ritual and I came across a program to manifest what I was hoping for. Fantastic. See, the universe will bring it to you. The universe, allow it to come to you. Don't try to control how it's going to come to you. Okay. So now I'm going to be doing cards. Uh, I don't know if I need my glasses on or not, but um, I'm going to ask the angels which ones they want me to do first. Okay, so let's do Archangel Oracle cards, okay? You can tell there's some, no, there isn't any green, but it's, it's look at how cool that looks. <laughs> so let's see what the Oracle, Archangel Oracle cards are wanting to tell these beautiful people. <laughs> I always feel better after your reports. Uh, thank you for your, oh yeah, she's already said that. So, okay, so let's see what the Oracle cards are saying for you beautiful people, okay? Beautiful day. Oh, <clears throat> it says Archangel Michael, which is like my necklace. Stand in your power and be true to yourself. Stand in your power and be true to yourself. Isn't that fantastic? I love that. And he's wearing the blue and the, the sword. Let him cut through the stuff. Let him cut through the stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Tina goes, hi, Debbie. Everybody, I made it. Yay. We're glad you made it. <laughs> Thank you. They love my tiara. I'm wearing a tiara. I wore it at the Conscious Life. So people that saw me there, I was I was wearing the exact same one. I think I gave Hannah one for her birthday and she was wearing hers too. So yes, I love my little tiara. I need to be the queen, you know. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so let's do the next cards. And there's messages for your angels, from your angels. Okay. So this one... Let's see what messages from your angels say. Love your necklace. Thank you. Thank you. People are sending flowers and butterflies and hearts. I love it. Thank you. Okay, so. Woo! Boy, that flung out really fast. It says, <clears throat> Aurora. It says, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Wow, I love that. I love that. Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. So they, they see that duality there. But don't descend, because others will soon become inspired by your example. So connect to the people that you inspire, not connect to the ones that say, eh, I don't like you. It's like, okay you're okay with your opinion. <laughs> Lori says you are the queen. <laughs> Kim says those are beautiful cards. Yes. Um, like I said, I've got 20 million cards, I'm telling you, and I love them. And if you're wanting to send me cards, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I will use them. Okay, so mermaid and dolphin cards, you know that I love these and I've had these for at least 30 years, I tell you. Um, so what does the mermaids and dolphins have to ooh, have to say to us? Worthiness. Boy, it's really talking about worthiness. So this month of March is like, that's what I'm trying to say to you people is, beautiful people, is that it, this is the time. It's like springtime. Springtime when the flowers bloom, okay? Oh, yeah, they were saying um, the, the flower to connect to, which is spirits making me go back. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Um, go back, they were saying that the, the flower that you can connect to is daffodils. 
for the month of March because a lot of places daffodils are starting to sprout right now. So connect to daffodils. The crystal that you can work with is aquamarine, which is where I'm, what I'm wearing. The, and um, the scent you could work with is orange or jasmine. And if you're working with a candle, it could be a light blue for truth. If you're wanting to find the truth of some situation, light a light blue, like this color here, light blue candle, okay? So the magical mermaid dolphin cards that I was talking about said worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways, in all ways of your life, okay? So it's worthiness, isn't that beautiful? Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. I think that's fantastic. I like that. Know that you are worthy. Oh, okay. Mom of Big Nick. <laughs> okay, Mom uh, just gave me $9.99. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> uh, just gave me $9.99. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, Ode to Daffodils. Read Ode to a Daffodil by Williams Wordsworth, Celtic Seer said. What's that about? Okay. What's that about? Like spirituality or something? My daffodils are blooming and they are beautiful, says Joyce. Well, fantastic. I love that. I love that. So it's funny how spirit says, bring this flower up to them. Make them connect to it. Um so the next cards I'm going to read to you is Mary Queen of Angels. Mary Queen, move over. I'm the queen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mary Queen of Angels. Isn't that beautiful? Like a Mother Mary card. That's beautiful. So let's see what Mary Queen of Angels needs to say to us. Uh -uh. A poem and it is spiritual. Well, fantastic. Ode to Daffodil. So you guys can read that. It's a poem and it's spiritual. I wish I would have known about that because then I would have maybe read it if it's not too long. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Mary, Queen of Angels, gave us the card Grace. Okay, and it says, I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as of all of God's other creation. Wow, they're just really... They're really wanting to know that you are so worthy and deserving and they want you to allow. This is what the month of March is trying to bring to you. Don't look at the negative. Don't, let, don't be in the fear, worry, and doubt of the body. Be in the spirit of you. New beginning. It's kind of like Easter, right? You're, come, you're popping up and you are a new beginning. Uh, you're, you're rising up again, okay? So, grace, I am filled with the same beauty and poise and divine perfection as of all God's other creation. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Isn't that beautiful? Card grace. Wow, I'm really liking these cards. Thank you, angels. And the angels really have been working. Like yesterday, I had to, um, I was getting my um, um, golden entry to get into the thing. And it took us two and a half years because of COVID. I signed up for it in 2022 or something, and it was closed down. And yesterday, um, and it takes us like an hour and a half, almost two hours to get there where we needed to go. And it was by the airport in middle LA. And I mean, me and my husband are like, ah. we got there. Traffic was bad on the other side, was great on our side. We got there um, like 40 minutes early. And I said, let's go in. Spirit's telling me to go in. We got in there. I mean, it was like lickety split. Bloop, 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 bloop. We got out. I was just like, wow. Thank you, angels. So connect to your angels. They really, really do want to help you. Okay? And they could be runner angels. Have you ever heard of runner angels? Runner angels are the ones that will get you the parking spots or or um, open the door for you or make you go through the, the lights faster. Runner angels is the ones that you go, we're going to this restaurant. Could you make it that... Uh, we get good service and good food and it's on time or whatever. And I used it to go um, to see a show at the Hollywood Bowl. And to the point, the people that we were with are like, holy cripes, <laughs> how did you get that? How did we get that spot? How did we get that seat? How did we? I was like, I was just talking to the angels. That's all I was doing. Fiddly D. I was just talking to the angels. <laughs> Okay, so Nicole just gave me $5. Um, 
Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate you. She's like, when will I get another vehicle? Will it be affordable? With or without financial help from friends and safe for my boys? I, I feel like you will, Nicole. You will. But you're 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 in the fear, worry, and doubt right now because you're like, when will I get a vehicle? So the universe is like, she wants to be in the space of when, not getting or receiving. So do those exercises that I gave you. Talk to um, for success. Talk to Mo Mia and 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 then listen to the insight and the information that you're going to get. Okay, with. Um, uh, I'm going to, I might be doing something with my son where uh, we're going to be because of the Timberwolves. Please go to TikTok and, and like and share and, 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 and comment on the TikTok for, for uh, the Timberwolf story. The Timberwolf story. Connect to that, please. Um, they're doing a, a show. They're going to Holland in October, I believe for quite a few days all the old veterans the old timberwolves that are like in their 90s are going to try to go there so i might do a thing with my son where like if you donate i will do a free one question reading for you okay so um i'll tell you about that in the future when we're going to do that and i would appreciate that too like donations to help the veterans to go through this show helping with the movie of this show and all that stuff so yes i would all the donations I would give to the people, okay? All right, so another story. So let's do the um, Magic of the Unicorns. Magic of the Unicorn cards. I love unicorns. They're like angels to me, so. <laughs> yes, Debbie, I'm always, I always get a parking spot when I ask the angels. Yes, Archangel Michael helps me, says T. Rose. Thank you, Kathy. 344 people are in the house. Thank you, beautiful people that are watching. So this one is the magic of unicorns. And I love, I just, this is not the, um, that too old of a deck. So it's kind of a little step here. <laughs> so here, whoa, okay. So it says, pool of Christ's light, open your heart and spread unconditional love. Not pretty, it's a pretty yellow. So pool of Christ's light, open your heart and spread unconditional love. So connect to the love, the, the love goddess. You know what I mean? C connect to them. Um, Kathy says, Debbie, every morning I talk to my angels. Archangels helps me a lot. Yes, Archangel. Raphael, I love Gabrielle. You know, I'm always talking about her. So Spirit is saying we need to do another unicorn. Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay. Stand in your power. Be passionate about your visions. Bring out positive change. Ooh, wow, look at this. Stand in your power. Isn't that a beautiful card? Wow. Be passionate about your vision. Be passionate. Bring about positive change. Bring about positive change. One word, one phrase, one hug, one how to diddy can help change the world. Just from one um, ripple can change the world. And, and it's funny because the, the last video that we're doing on ghost hunting grandmas, that is being presented at the Leduc house. There is so much information from the Leduc house that we did ghost hunting for, the historical that is around the Leduc that you would never even think of, that you would never ever thought of that it would be connected to Minnesota, the Leduc house. I love doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Nicole said, this has been a fast 43 minutes. Okay, so let me do, um, it goes fast when you're having fun, right? <laughs> so the next cards I'm going to do is Archangel Michael. And they're making my nose itch, so sorry about that. So let's see what Archangel Michael is going to say. Okay. Oh, Susan Rainwater, she just gave me $9.99. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate you. So... Um, Let's see what Archangel Michael wants to say to us, beautiful people. Nicole says, that's why I tell random people I like their hair and outfit or nails. Something so simple can make a huge difference in someone's day or life. Yes. And you know, this is what I do. I go up to people that are so beautiful and tell them they're beautiful. 
And people go, what? I did it at the Conscious Life. There was this woman there that was just gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's not going to hear people. She, people are going to think, oh, she hears it all the time. The guys aren't going to approach her because she's so pretty. Da, 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 da. And I walked up to her and I said, you know, you're really, really beautiful lady. And I could see that you're beautiful outside and inside. And she's like, oh, thank you. And you could tell she didn't know how to take the, comp the she's like, you're, and I'm like, I kind of looked at her like, don't, don't, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I'm beautiful. Just accept it. And she goes, that's, I, I need to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't hear that very often. And I'm like, I bet. Because you're so pretty. People think that she hears it all the time and she doesn't. So just little things like that can make a difference, right? So let's see what Archangel Michael is. Whoa, he's just throwing the book at me. Okay. Okay, so he gave me two cards here. So let me, and it fell right on the computer, so I don't want to, <laughs> all of a sudden, this, this, this is everything that's happening on the computer. Okay, so it says, write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for help. And so th this could be the prayer. I got to bring my magnifying glass out. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and gleam insight, blessing, and healing. So let me say it again. Your prayer could be, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings, and healing. It's everything that we're talking about tonight, right? My, Mark, Michael is with us all tonight. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, thank you, Kathy. Great show as always. Okay, and the other card is a favorable, favorable, God, I can't even talk, favorable outcome. <laughs> okay, it says, the prayer is, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So the person that was asking about the car, will I get the car? This is what you need to do. You do this prayer to Archangel Michael. Thank you for the beautiful outcome of this situation that I've got a car, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved, you and your sons or whatever. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith that I'm going to get this car or I'm going to get that money or I'm going to get that lover or I'm going to get that health. Okay, so that is um, I don't know if I showed you the card or not. Okay, favorable. Carol says, enjoy my Tuesday evenings. You're such a great, you are such great company. I know these beautiful people, if you're not on chat on these Tuesday nights, these beautiful people connect all the time. And I love it. I love hearing them connecting with each other. Oh, my nose itching. Okay, so divine, daily guidance from your angels, archangel card. Okay, daily guidance. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, so let me see what they have to say here. Karen said she will get that car. Let's all pray that she gets that car, right? She's got, you've already got it. See that you already have it. Don't say I don't have it. Say you already have it, right? Just be singing and saying thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Remember that song? <laughs> Georgia Moon says we are all beautiful. That's right. You are all beautiful. Okay. Okay, so let's see what the divine guidance of your angel. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that flying at me. Okay, so new partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by their sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So this could be a new partner for a business, a new partner as a lover, a new partner or a new doctor that's going to cure you or a new friendship or, or uh, new clients or a new place to live. So new partner, they're telling you the guidance. A chance meeting is no mistake. It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set up the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayer okay so see it as it is already done be in joy and see it as it is already done <clears throat> okay so um i'm going to do uh the yes or no cards and then we'll do one 
Oh, let me do the soul truth. Then we'll do angel answer cards, and then we'll do one from for the heavens, and then we'll be done. Okay? It is all meant to be. Yes, the universe really does know what it's doing. It's funny how you're like, you get upset. I do. I'm human. Fred, Fred, you know, like Fred Flintstone, record, second, record, record, record. Remember? <laughs> Sometimes I say that to my husband. <laughs> you're like Fred Flintstone. And I always thought Barney was so cute. <laughs> so, uh, so Karen says, I'm here to shine my light with all wh whom are in need of it. Yes. Just being in joy brings it to all the people. You don't even have to send it out. Just being in joy. Okay, so Soul Truth cards. Um, I love these cards. It has a little feather on there. That's my, my symbol. So uh, let's see what the Soul Truth cards say. I know it doesn't say angels on there, but Spirit said to do them. So come on, Soul Truth. Woo! Okay. What can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it such that every ounce of your scream of you screams no more? Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. Weren't we just talking about that? So I'm going to do another card. It's funny how See how the energy goes into the, the cards and it's telling you exactly what we were talking about, okay? The universe is unfolding as it should. That's right. The universe really does know what it's doing. <laughs> so he's like, Fred Flintstone, that's a timeless uh, cartoon. <laughs> it is. You know, it's like George Jetson or um, Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. Didn't you like Scooby-Doo? I love Scooby-Doo. Probably because he was trying to find mysteries and it's ghost hunting and da-da-da. I even liked it when I was a kid. Okay, so what does the soul cards want to tell us again? Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I'm, this is what it's saying. Am I apologizing for my truth? That's what it says. It says, what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? To be proud of your truth, catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you're brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth also. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra, courage is contagious. Wow. Wow, right? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? I'm going to read this again. Today, be, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you're brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious. Yes. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that powerful? And I'm sending that power to all of you guys too. <clears throat> Amy, I didn't really do too many predictions today. Did you do predictions? I didn't do. I, I'll probably do some on Friday. Okay. Today was angel card readings more. And connecting to your archangels and all that stuff. Look at the beginning of the, the video to help you receive health, love, and abundance. Okay, so let's do the angel answer cards. So if you have a yes, no, or maybe question, and I'm trying to get it out of the box here. Um, angel answer cards. Okay, so you got to love... Um, um, God. Think of a yes or no question. Carrie goes, I love Gazoo. Oh, my God. Gazoo. Do you remember? Gazoo. Gazoo. And then um, then when he made Fred say, like, yes, 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 and Barney say, no, no, no. I love that. <laughs> or remember, um, um, what was her name? Anne Margrock or something like that <laughs> instead of Ed Margaret. <laughs> she was singing. Ooh, Abundance. So there's abundance coming to all of us. It could be abundance of love. It could be abundance of joy. It could be abundance of money. It could be abundance of health. 
So abundance is coming your way. Okay, so we're going to do another yes or no. So that to me would be a yes if you were asking a yes or no question. Whoa. Okay. So this one says within the next few weeks, your answer will come to you. The, within the next few weeks. So that's what I'm saying. This month of March, really listen to your insight or answers. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning from, I don't know how, I don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. H-A-N-O-I. Okay, so now the next one, the last one I'm going to do because our loved ones are angels, right? Our loved ones are angels. So I'm going to do talk to heaven and see what our angels are. Um, abundance of light, yeah. Um, our lost loved ones are angels in the heavens, okay? So this is talking to heaven. Let's see what heaven wants to say to us or your loved ones. Vietnam. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Thank you. So hello for Vietnam. Hello. Okay. In Australia, Perry from Perry from Australia. Hi to Diddy to ya. Sorry, I hope you're not in the fires there. If you are, we're sending you love and protection. Okay, so what does heaven want to say to us beautiful people? Heaven, I'm in heaven. Da, 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 da. And it says, you're never alone. Look at the lighthouse. We were talking about the lighthouse. You are never alone. Let's see what it's... And the, ooh, that one just flipped out. Tears cleanse the soul. Aw. The earth is our school. And the last one I'm going to say is, if I only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. Wow. So some of these are going to be really powerful to you people. The earth is our school. Tears cleanse the soul and you're never alone. Okay. So that was our last card. That was us, our last card. I want to give you blessings and smiles. And like I said, check out Friday, 5 p.m. I'm going to be here with Hannah Banana. We're going to talk about the new moon and do some predictions and maybe some cards and things like that and have some fun. Have a lot of fun. So have a good time this week. Connect to your archangels. Call on your angels. Allow and be in joy. Okay? I want to give you blessings and smiles. And until next time, bye-bye.